WandaVision finale, <laughs> we've got something to say. <laughs> you, got, you got most of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, this is new to my channel. I've done this before, but we just finished the final episode of WandaVision, and, and I feel like this entire series has been a bug on my back that's been kind of irritating. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the first two episodes were necessary. Average sitcom stuff. And it didn't leave me feeling any kind of way. But it, like, it gave me curiosity, but now that I've seen the whole thing, it kind of really didn't lead to anything. Overall, I do think that like, cinematically, it was amazing. Like all the effects, all the visual, all the camera work, pretty solid, you know? A lot of safe options. But it worked. All those visual references of other shows were like 80%. They they got it. They got it. They just kind of missed. This is about the last episode. Let's not talk about the whole series. <laughs> you're gonna get mad if y'all hear me rant about it. <laughs> Yo, my name is Thin. I'm, I'm Matt. We're big Marvel nerds. We make videos about cosplay Marvel all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so like, this is coming from a warm place of love for comic books and movies and games that are about these heroes. I did like the show. <laughs> I, I did like it. it. It just wasn't like the, 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 the wonder show of the year, how everyone's making it to be. I just, I like, it was cool. I'll say this, you know, I've watched multiple shows since it's been releasing weekly and I it feels weird every time I'm like yo man this is better than WandaVision You're like you just <laughs> hating on it man. no I'm not <laughs> no I'm not <laughs> I'm not trying to <laughs> let's get into the meat of this video okay nice. everything wrong with WandaVision this is spoiler alert you guys already know it's in the title don't watch if you don't want to hear any spoilers but they end it they end the series. This is my biggest pet peeve of the whole like 10 episodes, the final scene. They should have ended it with that vision scene and maybe seeing like white vision a little bit after that, you know? But no, no, they chose to end the scene with Monica, the girl that got powers from Captain Marvel and you know, the Scarlet Witch. And my problem with that is that conversation back and forth was totally fake. It <laughs> threw me out like the vision scene was so emotionally like fulfilling and just tears and just like, oh my God, this this is emotional beat. Mm -hmm. They move straight up to Wanda just walking, looking at all these people, not even saying fucking sorry. Yeah, like I, I, that, that's another thing. <laughs> She's like, oh, is there anything that's gonna change the way they feel about me? Well, how about you try? <laughs> <laughs> well, how about you just say sorry? How about you be like, here's some money. I'm sorry you lost years of your life in this world. I thought it was funny. <laughs> He's like, the, the cops showed up right after that. So I was like, like Wanda would be like, hey, no, 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 none of y'all say nothing. Don't y'all say nothing. This is right after her emotional scene with Vision and her kids too. So you'd think she'd be a little bit more human about all that's happened, but nah, <laughs> she's straight up a villain now. Where did White Vision go? Like, he just flew up and just... He's like, oh, memory. Uh, I'm not gonna deal with this present yeah, problem. Yeah. That's something I really should help out with because I'm a superhero. The fake vision, if he gave his, his memories to the white vision, then shouldn't he already be there with Wanda? Like, afterwards? Like... I don't, I don't understand that part. Cause I was expecting <laughs> to see him in one of the end credit scenes, but nah. <laughs> Their conversation back and forth with the Scarlet Witch and Monica was so fake. It was ridiculous. It was like, you know, if I had your powers, if I was, you know, in your same situation, I would have done the same thing. Monica is lying. Yo, <laughs> the Scarlet Witch, she went through so much. She was Sokovian. Like experiment freaking she went through just experiment after experiment. Her family died right in front of her. All she had was her brother. Then her brother died. And right after like being experimented on and tested as Sokovian. experiment and becoming a, a hero, she gets abducted by the Avengers and she can't go anywhere else. She can't do anything but save humans over like world ending crap happening and so her only vice her only thing that holds her down is vision and then he dies so no don't tell me you're gonna like do exactly what wanda fucking did in this show because you saw her do it because you would have revived your mom too no you wouldn't have monica you are a good person you would not revive your mom you put we'll put your feelings aside 
Wanda, as a person thinking, she is still a infant. She is a child because of her trauma. She needs therapy, man. Yeah, right. She needs consult. She needs love, man. And she isn't even getting that from you. You're just looking at her like a stranger, like, oh, I'm trying to empathize, but I've only talked with you like once or twice, so I can't really relate. I don't even know about your traumatic life, but I'm trying to relate with you about my mom dying, and that's it. it. It feels like a slap in the face, you know? It's like, yo, I know you're going through this. Uh, you know, I went through something similar, so it's it's okay. It's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> you can't relate. And this is the typical with like, I don't know, teenage emotion is like, <laughs> uh, so much like, it, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it made me so mad. Made me so frustrated. Like, I already have problems with the whole series, but I will say the final three episodes were pretty stunning. They were up there. They were pretty great. But then they ended it with the Monica moment and it soured up everything for me. And I'll say this, I like this Monica girl, like, a lot. I, I wanna see her do great things in future movies. Her being introduced to um, Nick Fury. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, super that was, excited. That, that was a, that was the scene with the scrolls. Yeah, scrolls. Oh, the one where she's all alone and like living in the house by herself. Cause that's when I thought like White Vision was gonna show up or something. But nah, she's like reading up on on magic and stuff. So, like, <laughs> and to be honest, I thought Doctor Strange was about to show up or something. Cause that would have been that would have been cool. Really cool. Because you know uh, Paul Bettany or the dude to play Vision, he said that there was gonna be like a, a, a special person that he wanted to work with, and it was like a secret cameo thing. So it turned out that he just wanted to work with himself. Man, <laughs> man. And you know, it's stupid because you would assume that Wanda would already be doing that. And so this end credit has no weight. It's not like an Avengers movie where they show Thanos at the end and, you, and it's completely unrelated. Mm -hmm. This is like, from the first episode, it was building up to this kind of like, of course she's gonna educate herself and become the Scarlet Witch and become better and stronger. Like we don't need that to be hammered down, especially for a second secret ending. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> disappointed, disappointed. They didn't have one like mainline hero from another movie in this series and that really disappoints me. And like, to be honest, she could have kept the like, the, the vision or kids cause Cause like, wait, she didn't have to have like all of Westview to just that use her powers to just keep these three people with her at all times. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like at the end, it's like she already is all powerful. Why did she like not just keep Vision, her version of Vision, and the two kids alive? Like that would she's already using that power, you know, and it doesn't cost as much as the entire city and m military base mm -hmm. and all the hundreds of people that are in that circle, you know, so now she can just literally just have them around the whole time and just be chilling and them have a full life. They don't have to die. So it kind of didn't make sense to me why she just like let them die and move on, mm -hmm. you know, because like the kids weren't like wanting to die. They didn't know what was gonna happen yeah. and vision he knew but he was like he could have easily said like wait can't you just <laughs> can we just keep this going like yeah and that secret ending what if that secret ending it showed vision and the kids at that wooden house while she was studying mm -hmm. she has the power to do it you know <laughs> in fact i would say that her role right now is leading to be a bigger villain than mm -hmm. a hero because she's isolating herself again She's learning about witchcraft. Yeah, I don't know. You, you only see like when it comes out. Bro. Exactly. I mean, I'm sure she's gonna be a good, she's gonna be an anti-hero. She's gonna kind of come in a little mm. feisty, but then she's gonna be a hero at the end because of her nature. Mm. But like, man, all that, all the lifetime of trauma she has. Yeah. <laughs> and then she had to revisit that stuff with the other witch. Yeah. Dang, man. She was like, she was not ready to revisit those moments. And this witch was like, <laughs> yeah, like I, I could have like to be honest, I thought it was gonna go somewhere like a lot more. The interesting isn't the right word, but I thought it was building up to something bigger. The ending kind of did make the whole series seem like just a side story. When I thought it would have been a, a much more major, um, like a major setup yeah. for the future the movies or whatever. Yeah, or, movie or even TV series, because like if they kept it going, it would have been great. You know, I hate to compare it, but like there's like this show right now we're watching called The Boys. Oh yeah. <laughs> and every episode is pretty fire, man. Yeah, I, I see There's it. so much hype. There's so much, he's introducing it to me. Yeah. But let's, you know, we'll cut the comparison right there. <laughs> but uh. Man, 
So now to go over the whole series, I guess because we haven't really explored that mm -hmm. to keep this video short too, is like the whole five, first five episodes, there wasn't even movement for the story until the last five minutes. Mm -hmm. I straight up told this guy, I was like, yo, let's just watch the next episode, but skip to the last 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> because although they do references to sitcoms and they do them like 80%, uh, the problem is that there's no plot progression. Probably because Wanda herself, like, is using all her power to, uh, you know, facilitate the people in the city. So, uh, and, and because of the race, relations of the characters, they can't progress like a real sitcom where there's emotional drama everywhere. Mm -hmm. And her version of an emotional sitcom is more like vanilla versus like real emotional sitcoms where there's always like uh, relationships that are like dangling on a thread kind of you know and they get in fights all the time mm. and they didn't introduce that because maybe her perception of a sitcom doesn't have that yeah so i get that interpretation but i wish there was that emotional thread where it was always kind of loosey-goosey mm -hmm. and they didn't wait to do that to the last three episodes basically you know? <laughs> <laughs> But in all honesty, it was a good show. <laughs> yeah, it was a good show. It was a good show. Thank you, Marvel. Keep on making stuff. Uh, yeah, I could tell the movie budget was in there. There wasn't a moment where I was like, dang, this is a TV show. The whole time I was like, damn, this feels like a Marvel movie. That's that Disney money, man. That Disney money. <laughs> <laughs> So that's our review. Quick thoughts. Leave a comment down below about your frustration or love about this series. If you hate us, then don't like this video. Uh, you hate our <laughs> thoughts. Don't like this video. But don't dislike it but either. But don't dislike it either. <laughs> um, or maybe leave a like. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Peace. Reality Dragon. <laughs>